In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot using Vernier Graphical Analysis, a Chrome app, and then how to find the line of best fit through linear regression. I'm going to put this data in here through manual entry just by entering the data, so click on that option to get started. On the right-hand side, I see a little space for a data set. What I'm going to put in here is some information about height and age. So I'll put height versus age, and this will be for some living thing. Uh, in the horizontal axis, or the X, I'm going to put the age. So I'll click column options, and I'll change from X to age, a more meaningful name. And uh, the units I'm going to use are years. Click apply, and that changes the title heading. Uh, the vertical axis is going to be height. So I'll click on the add-ons there and click column options and I'll change Y to height. The units I'll use are centimeters. Click apply. Now I'll put some data in here. My ages are going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13 years. The corresponding heights that will go along with that are 75 centimeters, 92, 108, 121, 130, 142, and 155. And you can see that it created a scatter plot as I was typing the data in. It automatically scales the axis so that it can fit um, as big a chart on the screen as possible. Um, that's not always desirable, and I think there are ways to change that, but we're not going to mess with that right now. Next thing to do is to find the line of best fit. To do that, go in the lower right-hand corner of your chart and click on this little Graph Tools button. You have a number of different options. The one that we want here is to apply curve fit. When you click on that, it assumes that you want to do linear regression, which is fine with me. There are other options that are more sophisticated if you need them. Uh, we'll click apply, and when we do that, two things happen. One, the line of best fit is already there, and the little dialog box here tells us information about that. First of all, it tells us that the slope is 6.464, and that would be centimeters per year. It tells us the vertical intercept is 72.32, so that means at age zero, this thing is 72.32 inches high. The next we get an R value, which is a sort of a measure of how well the line fits, roughly meaning that about 99% of the time, this model would be a good prediction of height based on the data. And then below that is the root mean square error, which sort of tells us that the average error in our measurements, the average deviation from the line, is about 2.8 centimeters, which is not bad when you consider that we start with the height of 72 and end with the height of over 150. So that is how you use vernier graphical analysis to make a scatter plot and find linear regression.